he pulled my um the seat. seat. He pushed it all the way back, and then he just attacked my face. What? what a this one I remember. Hey guys, welcome to a very very brand new show. Just saying, KL. You guys don't know what the show is. It started in Singapore, just saying Singapore. But we here are planning to do it better and bigger, right? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. Always better than Singapore. Yeah. Definitely. Right? Definitely. Right. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Right. Definitely. My name is Harvin Skin. And please introduce yourselves, guys. I'm Charvane. I'm Jaisal. And I'm Kevin. You all, you all got watch the show there. I watch a yeah. beat la. Beat la. Beat, 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 beat la. Two minutes, then you cut la. Right. Cut, yes. Introduction off. Off, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, but here today, I hope you don't two minutes cut because we got a very interesting topic here. Since it's our first episode, uh, it's the first time we're kind of like talking to each other, getting to know each other. It's like first date, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a foursome date. Wow. Correct. Yes. Correct. Wow. Correct. Correct. So we're here to talk about first dates in our personal experience lives. That time I was like in high school, uh, or in the age of like 16. Then I was like dating this girl and our first, my first date was like going to the park, you know. That's like ponting some more, you know. And then after that, we go to a uh, mama stall. Fucking boring bro. Fucking boring bro. Like I don't want to be But I, I panic bro. I, I think I asked. Like a lot of my friends are, hey bro, actually at first date, I go out with this girl. Okay, you know, I go to the taman. They say, no lah bro, bring her, go Aeon lah. Aeon? I say, what the fuck, Aeon? Because I live in Klang bro, I live in Klang. Aeon. So Aeon is like the 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 biggest shopping yeah. mall right there. You can go Aeon this, do uh, sing karaoke. Then, you know, the room dark, dark. You can do things. I was like, <laughs> then I tried to ask her to go Aeon. So when I was in the room alone with her, Fuck, I, I chicken out, bro. Just sing, then she sing, I sing, then she sing. Then the whole past three hours, then we, we just done. Finish. Finish. Then, then the date also like, waste your money. Yeah, waste your money. Bro, you damn stupid, bro. You know when I brought my, my girl... What's your first one? When I brought my girl to Aeon, uh. I never spent money on car. Okay, I go to the tanga. <laughs> you go to the tanga? Go to the tanga straight. Went finish straight. the job, bro. Oh, yo. I think for mine, I was 16. I think so. I think my first date was 16. So I went out with this guy. I met him um, on Messenger. Dennis, uh. <laughs> 16. Dennis is not your first date? No, he's not my first date. Oh love. my god, what? It wasn't so much worst date. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then I met this guy, remember? He brought me to the Marie's. So his hands just went all around. Then he pulled my head. His mouth just went washing machine. <laughs> I'm like. The thing about <laughs> cinemas, right? I feel like cannot kiss in cinemas. Like, I don't. Why not? Feel safe. There was nobody there. Why? No, I feel like cinemas are a place where your face needs to look at the cinema, but your hands are doing bits. <laughs> like your hands are in the pants, your hands are in the shirt, but your face cannot look at each other one. Because it's damn obvious. I damn scared, you know. Okay, you just, just go down. So look at the X squid, bro. <laughs> and then he drove me back home. So we were just a few blocks away from my house. And he wanted another kiss. So I'm like, can I give him another chance? Oh, so so what he that. did was, he pulled my, um, the seat. seat. He pushed it all the way back. And then he just attacked my face. What, what a kiss. <laughs> this one I remember. Then he's like, do you want to do anything more? I say, maybe not today. Uh -huh. I'm very... He on, like a fucking waitress. Yeah, <laughs> 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 you want anything more? What? Like my prime started when I was eight. My dating, like... Prime started when I was 18. Like, I was seeing other guys at the same time. So, because Ooh. I... Yeah, I don't like to put all my eggs in one basket. Ooh, Ooh nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Wait. a lot of them, they brought Ooh. me to... What? You went... Huh? Like, I, was seeing, <laughs> I was seeing other guys at the same time. Like, oh. as friends. Like, as as, friend. Oh, I saw you just going out. Oh. Nothing serious. Like, other guys, they would, buy, they would bring me to like, I don't know, like, fine dining, expensive restaurants, Japanese omakases, which I appreciate the effort, but like... With this guy, it was different because he brought me to a very humble Japanese buffet restaurant and mm. I honestly had the most fun. Mm -hmm. Because other guys, right, all they talk about is themselves and they flaunt this, they flaunt that. Yeah. And it's honestly such a turn off because it's so boring. So my first date, more innocent than yours. My first date, I didn't even sit on the same table as her. Oh, so we, cute uh. I Yeah, it's, it's, you know, last time we had Friendster. Oh, Friendster, yeah, yeah. So we were friend each other on Friendster, then we planned, okay, before school, we will go to this restaurant. So she will ajak her friends, I'll ajak my friends. We all will sit in different table and we will look at each other. 
and then she went to go wash her hand <laughs> and then you took the chance. I followed her and go wash my hand also so in that space of us being in the sink together <laughs> <laughs> was the happiest moment of your life no no hey listen i didn't do nothing i didn't do nothing i was like uh hi nasty <laughs> and say hi and then i was like uh can i get your number I was going to go and take a paper and pen then she like hold my hand. Oh you. She stopped me. I turned. She hold hold hold. Hold hold. hold. hold la. Oh, <laughs> then I was like, "Man, like <laughs> this is the first time I ever hold wow. hold that girl's hand, right?" Do you feel your heart like flash? Yeah, I was like, "Wow, butterfly <laughs> like dog, I tell you. Butterfly like dog." <laughs> <laughs> and then she she gave me a number that I memorized straight away. I memorized that's how much in love I was already wow, with this girl. Did she become your girlfriend? She did become my girlfriend for 2 months. What would be your ideal date? Now, um I would say picnic sounds cute. And then roller skating. I was just telling my husband that yesterday. I said even if Then is not even the thing. Even, <laughs> <laughs> even if both of us don't know how to skate, I want to skate. Then you get to catch you, you get to feel your biceps. Okay. Oh, I, I, more I, physical contact. Okay. Correct. Correct. More physical contact. You you you're not bored of like Touching the same biceps, ah. Huh? <laughs> it keeps growing. It keeps growing. So oh, so it's different. Yeah. Okay, so okay. Mm. My ideal date, I think, for a start, I think is to have a good food. I like food a lot. Then that's where, uh, conversation starts, lah. I want to get to know her more first, and then going on further, lah. That's my ideal date. Slow and steady. Like from for me, a date means like just cuddling. Date, your first date, yeah, bro. First date. date. Ideal date now. Yeah, first oh, date. Yeah, Why first. does it have to be first? Oh, I like yeah, first date with the. Oh, you want first date? Date. Yeah, first date. Yeah, like date what? Ideal first date ah. is invite her to my place. Ah. Wow. Sit down, cuddle. You are red flag. <laughs> <You laughs> it just change your process, babe. This idea is my ideal. <laughs> okay, I will not question that. No. Why is it cheap? Your house. I thought you like cheap stuff. Not it. Not come to my house. No, I'm not gonna say hey, come to my. I'm not gonna say hey, come to my house. You think that's stupid or what? They appreciate hey, come to my house. I'm like, Netflix and chill. No, I'm not gonna say Netflix and chill. Then what we say? Hey, pastor, you're on the phone call, right? Um, you like cats? Oh my god, that's so. I hate cats. Straight away, it's done, brother. What are your red flags when it comes to a first date? If she wants me to pay for everything, straight away, red flag. I I don't mind. It's not that I don't want to do it. Yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind doing it. But if you expect that of me, like, man, who are you, my daughter? Yeah, I but like I've dated someone like that. Everything want you to pay. Want I to pay, I, I pay. you but know, like, they demand or they just don't ask, don't say anything. No like they stupid and then let you pay. They don't demand, but they don't like act stupid. So they like just. I think my dad has always paid for everything before. My brother always pay, so oh. I expect the guy to always pay. So like, oh, I'm here, damn. Yeah. She implied oh, like, cannot wait. If she cannot right, cannot right. Cannot wait. If she say like that, I feel like relationships need to be a fifty-fifty always. Yeah, yeah. But but she not. I think she don't have to pay everything. Like for sometimes and maybe one dinner out of ten, you know, we will feel like we're oh, super grateful. That's true. That's true. Of course. I don't agree that it should be 50-50 but your intentions going into something that you don't know should be 50-50 like you're willing to put your your part of the 50% in but after that I take care of you for life ah like you don't have anything to worry about baby girl Oh I have a red flag mm. so I hate guys like hate 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 guys who post a lot or brags a lot on the first day I cannot take it and normally like based on my experience these guys who Say that they have a lot. Usually don't have much. Yeah, small dicks. <laughs> the small dick energy. It's that's like, why they need to so break. Secure, that's why yeah. you feel the need to. And I feel like nowadays girls are so gullible. Like they see everything on the surface. Correct. And oh, like if you have like a sports car, or if you have something, oh, then you're 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 rich. You know, then you must be some someone that is date. Wait, you have a sports car? Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> being rich and being generous are very, very different things. Yeah. Like you know, like him being wealthy on his own, maybe he he really has it, and versus him spending on you is also very different. I think girls with no standards fall for these kind of guys. Yeah, yeah, but in truth, like they don't want to commit. Maybe they just want to get into your pants. Correct. Yeah, so I have to be careful. Kevin, what's your red flag? Yes. My red flag, I think, uh, girls that are not polite, lah. Oh, like they are respectful. not polite, uh, not respectful. Bitchy, ah, uh, bitchy. Just say bitchy, bro. Don't need to. Okay, lah, bitchy, lah, and also, 
<laughs> not polite lah, you know. I mean, basic manners must have lah. If let's say uh, there's a waiter that, that wants to serve us, right? She don't say thank you or she probably just... Oi! Did you ever say a girl say oi? No. No. <laughs> no, but you, you went out with a girl that said oi. Ah, I was like... Why your voice like man? <laughs> Why you make like man? Oh, yeah. So I mean, not polite is really turn me off lah, and Ooh. basic manners lah. Whether how you mix with your friends, I think I see that a lot. Oh my god, I'm trying to think of all the red flags. Maybe I ignore them. That's a red flag right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's your red flag. Your red flag. I think maybe for me is like. When we talk, the first thing I really need to know is his family background, okay. how he treats his mom. Oh. How he treats his mom, his sister, that is very, very important for me. Yeah. When I ask you about your mom, there are guys that say like, nah, I don't want to talk about it, or like, my mom's annoying. That's when I know. How he treats her is gonna help me, how he treats you one day. Yes. 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 That is my, one of my reflex. I disagree with that method, that, that theory. That right. how, how someone treats their mom mm -hmm. or sister is how they'll treat their girl. I disagree personally. Okay. I think there are many cases of sons who are disconnected with their sisters, their mothers, their fathers. Very disconnected f from family. Maybe because of age difference. Maybe because of lifestyle difference. Maybe they went abroad their whole lives. So they're not close, right? And then when they find a partner, that's their everything. I mean, that's not a great thing yes. if that's their everything, but doesn't mean they won't treat you like but shit. But I think an explanation la. Mm. You don't just say like, my mom's annoying. Oh, that one, no, that's yeah. when. Oh, you yeah. feel the respect. You have to have oh. an explanation and, yeah. and why, as to why you treat them that way. Okay. Yeah. Alright, what what do you guys think y'all bring to the table in a relationship? What what do you guys think y'all bring to the table? Okay, this is feedback, yeah. Not feedback. from me, but from oh. the men I've dated. Okay. Mm. First of all, very like, genuine. Mm. Like I look up, I'm very protective, not just to, to my relationships, or even to friends and mm. family. That's just how I am as a person. I'm very supportive in terms mm. of like their career because I'm a very career-minded person myself as well. So whatever that they want to do in their work, especially if you're my boyfriend, I would help you try to input as much ideas as I can so we can both grow together. Mm. Mm. I feel like that's a very important thing in a relationship. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like giving each other like mutual respect you know, like respect must be reciprocated. This is about what you bring to the table, you know. This mutual means they so I have to <laughs> pick something. <laughs> this is, this is some like, bullshit, yeah, bro. Yeah, okay, okay, fine. I remember your face. I respect my man. Ah, that's what I like to hear, ah. brother. <laughs> what I bring to the table, I think positive energy lah. I that's like so being, important. Yeah, I like I like being happy lah. I don't really get sad. Really? Yeah. Really, bro. You don't get sad? Uh? Really, very rare. Very rare. And then I'm the the person that always like to push people like and make sure that the whole environment is happy. La. I'm always the class clown. La, oh, what I would say. Tired, though. No though, I'm happy doing it though. I feel like people like that right, deep down inside then when they go back, they cry a lot. Hey, no way, I don't... I don't, don't lie. But one time, if let's say if I get sad, right, it's gonna be damn bad. It's done. Uh, like oh, for a few months bad. like that. Oh, it's gonna be damn bad. Wow. Because you're masking it, bro. I can feel it already here, the energy. But now, no, no, I'm not, I'm not we talk, I'm happy, bro. Yeah, yeah, then we go back later and it's oh, done. Shit, right. <laughs> more, more, more. But it's ah. true though, every time I see Kevin, he's always super happy, super cheerful, like, Hi, Jason. Ah, okay. yes, yes. Yo, I'm telling you, these are, I, cause I relate. Cause I always have to crack jokes, I, have to, I always make people laugh, right? Then like, I go back, I'm like, who's gonna make me laugh? Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, that's oh, no. Who's, who's gonna crack jokes for me? Hey, but then, uh. to me, right, if I make you laugh, right, when you laugh, you already responded to me, so I'm happy. That oh. way. Uh, so to you, people must do back the same thing, then you get happy, is it? To me, it's like, fucker, I make you laugh, I give you happiness, give me back something. <laughs> <laughs> you also want mutual laugh. I also want mutual I just say I don't want mutual. <laughs> I don't have anything in specific that I would say I bring to the table because I come with a lot of red flags also. I come, yeah, I come, I'm self-aware. That is what I bring to the table. I'm so self-aware about how shitty I am, how amazing I am, uh, how I can treat someone poorly, how I can like sometimes project what I feel onto my partner and I'm aware of that. Like when I do it, I, I can be like, oh, okay, shit, yeah, I did that. I'm sorry. I'll work on myself. Mm. Ah, that's what that's I. Good. That's so. I that's so, so good. I'm not sure if the bar yeah. is that low, but I actually, like, <laughs> I'm no, quite confident. It is. It is. It is. It is. Self awareness is actually very sexy. It is. Yeah. And it's not common. I don't think the bar is that low because to achieve self awareness, 
is of a higher Correct. standard. Yeah. It's a higher standard. It's not that low. Because okay. people are not self-aware. Most of you fuckers watching, I don't know what the fuck is going on with your lives. I think what I bring to the table is my loyalty. So if you give me all of that, I'll give you that too. If you give me all the love I need, trust me, you have all of me. Right or die. You have me, yes, right or die. I love that. Yes, yes, yes. Bonnie wow. and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde type through shit. Through. Yeah. I love that. Yes. So I love a ride or die. You Just don't get bitches like that no more. Yeah, yeah. All these hoes these days. <laughs> Just switching like nobody's business. <laughs> I feel like guys have a bad rap for their intentions when they want to ask a girl out. That's why you all like came at me like, oh, what are your intentions as girls? Do you think girls intend to want to have sex on the first date? This is what I believe in. I believe that, I don't know about Kevin. Uh, uh, why? Kevin, you believe that whether on the first date it happens or not, it's all dependent on the girl, right? Yeah, actually, yes. If though, the girl decides the girl it's going to go down, it uh, will go down. Yes, it will go down. They say that men yeah. always make the first move, but I feel like it's always the women that triggers them to make the first move. It's like, they call this the triangulation method. Uh, <laughs> what is this funny, eh? Imagine you're like, at a, at a house and then you're you're drinking wine with a girl and then this girl just like look at you when you're talking and she's so present she's so attentive and just she's just looking at you she's looking at your left eye right eye and then she's looking at your lips and then she look up <laughs> ooh ooh I've been tempted <laughs> now yeah like, I understand yeah, yeah yeah you understand right? I'm not relaxed huh? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for sharing your stories. Thank you so much. Uh, if you guys liked and enjoyed this episode, please let us know in the comments. Let us know what were your favorite bit, uh, favorite bits. Actually, share with us what were your first date experiences. Um, how do you end the show, dude? <laughs> <laughs>